Yeah. Red Rock Resources. Red Rock Resources. Yeah. Red Sea Mine. Yeah. Great Land Gold. Yeah. Which one do you want to talk about first? It's your call. Yeah. Uh, it is tonight for Bretlands, I believe. Regency. Oh, Regency. So, do you want to talk about them for a bit? Yeah, sure. So, how do you think it's going? Uh, Dawson's gone a little bit quiet because it looks like they're going for the permits. Um, well, with Regency, we've got a couple of things going on. Uh, one of which is uh, there's a company which has been bought out of bankruptcy and which is going to be listing in London, we believe. Okay. And we've invested in pre IPO on that. And the idea is coming quite soon. But we have about 10% in the representatives on the board. But it's you know, a fantastic opportunity. It can be really big. And we got it at the bottom. Um, then there's another opportunity where we are going to have 75%. And we will carry the first three wells. The first is only a recompletion. Uh, and that's in America. And that is coming out of bankruptcy. We're buying the administrator. The guy who set it up is getting a portion and um, you'll be carried to start with the first three wells as to the match. And those are quite big because we're expecting the first world to produce some between 180 and 400 pounds a day. And then the second one, oh, I am, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm too bad. It's not amazing. How are you? Then we're doing one every six months. Yeah. Almost yeah, you're not quite to the crack listen? of doom. Maybe? Yeah. Or yeah. maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Now they have agreed to negotiate to do it exclusively with us. So we're going to be moving quite quickly. Uh, we've, we've made an argument about it. Yeah. And it wasn't 100%. It's still not 100% because you have to. Uh, first of all, do that with the administrator, but then you have to confirm the farm with the people who hold the outside flat, the company yeah. the farm is from. Otherwise, you'd just be left with a well Yeah, true. <laughs> so, I, I, must admit, I must admit, I didn't realise you guys, Rinks and Iron, was getting mm -hmm. that broad. broad. Oh, yeah. Because everybody looks at, you know, obviously, there's all still and all this stuff, but obviously, you've got to the different directions. See, the good thing about Rinks is it's so clean. That you could you could do things with it, starting always with a blank sheet of paper. Yeah. And so we have the things coming out of bankruptcy, not beyond that. Because if you buy things out of bankruptcy, you tend to get an exception. Good, good deal. price. Good yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, because normally when you're buying into an oil, you're buying on sort of percentage up it because you know the things have been discovered and you buy on reasonable terms, you produce relatively well. So maybe you make you know, twice or three times a month. It's not like the mining where you uh, say like mod resources or uh, yeah. metal tiger. You discover something where it hadn't been found before. One hole and suddenly your price multiplies. <clears throat> but if you're buying things out of bankruptcy, right at the bottom of your money, well, maybe you get both. You get the cash flows early on, very quickly, and you get the multiple, multiple uplift. So I think actually Regency has been pretty clever in the deals this day. And we thought if we do try and do two or three of these deals, and one of them maybe comes off, if we're lucky, um, it would be great. Now it looks as if two of them are coming off. It's about, well it is about as mad as you know, the way yeah. it is at the moment, the, the companies that survive, yeah. so the depression and the dip and the oil price. But, but we meet people all the time who say that, look, you should deal with this. So I don't know how we managed to find them. I think spending three years uh, preparing ourselves mentally for this, studying, looking at a lot of propositions, not doing stuff, uh, maybe prepared for us. As Louis Pasteur said, fortune favours the prepared mind. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So, how. Not digressing away from that. Yeah. So then we've got Red Rock Resources. It seems to be going along and it's a lot of tough people. Yeah, in a way what we're doing is we're mining what we already have. Then. Because what we already have is a stake in Jupiter Mines, um, which is the world's maybe cheapest bank for its producer. As it had about 270 times as well. It went through two or three months of losing money at the end of last year, beginning with this, which is the navy of the market. Um, because otherwise it would be profitable and cut its costs so much that it's now super profitable, I think. 
And then we have, so that will be paid dividends fairly soon now. And uh, then we have obviously Shotes Creek in Louisiana, uh, where we're dry venture with Northcote. And uh, that's all quite recent. They were there associated with the alcoholic option. Terrible, terrible, terrible <laughs> to start with, but they're learning. And um, we're getting help from them to make sure that things go right. But in principle, that's really low cost production and a chance to have more uh, rice, which is it. And then um, we're already producing very interesting oil. And then uh, in Colombia, we sold in Europe gold interest, gold mine, mm -hmm. and plant. And we sold it to people who were real experts in Colombia, had previously owned that mine at my plant, who were American Canadians and uh, who had in South America twice before, once in Nicaragua, then Maori and Honduras. Did exactly the same thing, taking narrow, deep mines and uh, producing from them and have running a hyper effective mill and plant and buying in from other people locally and really building our value. So they know how to do it, so we knew we had the right time. Uh, so last year we accepted probably not the best price because we thought any price we get is going to contain some deferred amount. Mm -hmm. But the deferred amount would be worth nothing, nothing, unless the people could operate it. These people are good operators. They've made a payment to us in January, the final payment they made is in uh, August, $245,000. But also, we started accruing royalty stream, which we start paying out to us in the beginning of the second half. Uh, and we have a million dollar note, which was convertible into stock if they got listed. And um, I think everybody knows that we've announced it, but we've done the backdoor listing into power resources in Canada. So we're entitled to a million dollars, we believe, of power stock. And we believe that's at a price which is half today's price. So would you, would you we're discussing that? that with them, and yeah. we would like to get that stock. Um, and if everything works out the way we think it should, you know, maybe we have to go to arbitration on it. Mm. Uh, we would expect to do well in that. Uh, then maybe we get a couple of million dollars worth of stock. If not, we we'll wait a year or two and we get a million dollars repaid on the note, which is uh, uh, secure on the asset. But of course, what we like to do is get a lot of money uh, and stock that's in gold stock that's going to be up in value now. So see, there is this embedded value in um, Red Rock, which we've been bring, protecting in the downtown. Yeah, so why do you use it? It's just so we know how much you order vegetables. Yeah, of course, it's a one point two. So we know how we can turn up and take a vegetable ticket. So we know how much to bring out. Yeah, when the market is high, just say some of the people who take the dozen offers. And, and someone comes on the side that they want a vegetarian, they'll just take yours. And, and then I'll uh, yeah. try to avoid doing that. Yeah. 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 The meaning thing is very good. So we have 75%. And of course, we also recently took a. Uh, I've just been to the toilet. I've watched the other stage. Gold repository is a good thing. We've yeah. also looked at Ghana, where we found the underbound gem in the form of gross oh, yeah. resources oh, sorry. that we think um, Paul Johnson. run down. Yeah. Oh, Paul Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Alex McKinley. We've invested jointly with Metal Tiger. Yeah. 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 Andrew Bell. I mean, Andrew Neal. Sorry, that's me. We're going to be I can be anybody I want to. No, these are vegetarians. Oh, yes. I'm not a veggie. Andrew Neal. And uh, we're going to. Thank you very much. Help. I missed it. Well, I'm going to have to. Alright, yeah, yeah. So, there you go. Thank you. Who's top left hand side? Uh, whatever you're going. They've got the next to one of the world's historic buildings. Like wax, which is such a big And uh, a bit of exploration was done there uh, three or four years ago. It wasn't in the right place. 602,000 dollars in this resource. And no money to follow up. Uh, but it wasn't well drilled. It was a very wide space fence, uh, a straight line. And the obvious target is that we told the US attack dogs. So it's a no-brainer. Yeah. All right. 
Um, and then, obviously, we're sat in the place where everybody's gone yeah. in, <laughs> into the, into the uh, show tonight. And, uh, by the way, thanks for taking the time to ask where you're going. Yeah. Uh, and just to round off, you've got the, the Gretel and Gold presence as well. Yeah, I'm a non executive chairman of the Gretel and Gold. Yeah. And Paul, of course, is coming. Paul and the Tiger have taken substantial space. You can see a couple of great directors on the board. And um, things are beginning to move. We're beginning to drill. Uh, some worthwhile targets in the Australia. There's another of the Australian properties that's very worthwhile to, to invest in. Serious money in this place. So, yeah. But that is a company that is perfectly placed to scale up and do a bigger deal somewhere. Yes, did you? Ah, yeah, they use that. Well, yeah, and then in my spare time, I'm really helping for the But that all ends on Thursday. It does. By the way, I won't get the chance to ask you on camera. Hopefully this will go out before then, is you've been quite vocal on that. What would you say? How do you say it go? What do you think? I of course I'm a partisan. I believe in will. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. So, 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 so